In today's video, I'll be helping you to understand how to stop blood in your dog's stool, why the blood is showing up, and how to fix the problem quickly and prevent the problem from returning. And at the end, I'll also provide links to the best home remedy options and how much to give your dog size so you can get on and start fixing the problem within days. Hi, I'm Dan Scott, Canine Nutrition and Home Remedy Specialist, and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button below to stay in touch with all the latest videos that I do, and feel free to comment or ask questions below. If there's one daunting symptom of compromised dog health, blood in the stool ranks right at the top of the list, though a slight amount of blood in isolated incidences isn't too much to be alarmed about, regular or heavy amounts definitely are. This is because blood in the stool can be a sign of disease and infection, and in most cases the blood is likely coming from the lining of the small intestine, where the food is broken down and taken into the bloodstream. A damaged lining means the dog will have trouble assimilating the very nutrients it needs to stay alive and healthy. The canine digestive system is of rugged, hardy design. In fact, the stomach acid of a dog is 10,000 times stronger than that of a human on the pH scale. Breaking down the lining of a lower digestive tract is no easy task. When a pet owner spots bright red blood in their dog's stool, the first step is almost always a trip to the vet. Most likely a battery of tests will be run and the final results can be anything from infection to cancer. The symptoms will then be treated and a pet owner walks away with a very large vet bill. The worst part is the damage will continue as long as the dog is kept on the same dog food diet that led to the condition in the first place. Few tend to ever look at how the lower intestinal tract could ever become compromised so that disease could take hold in the first place. It would be easy to blame the dog's genes or call it luck of the draw. However, when trying to digest a commercial kibble diet containing a number of caustic chemicals on a regular basis, this would seem an obvious result. While a dog's system is designed to readily assimilate a number of protein combinations and enzymes, it was never designed to process such things as preservatives, additives, and other components not found in nature. So how can you stop the problem fast and set about doing the best for your dog long term so the problem doesn't return? The very first thing you must do is get some slippery elm remedy, and there will be a link to my personal recommendation in the description below and at the link above. Slippery elm is nature's wonder herb for leaky gut stomach problems, IBD, pancreatitis, diarrhea, respiratory ailments, kennel cough, urinary problems. And in this instance, it's perfect for soothing a distressed intestinal lining, causing the blood to show up in your dog's stools. Slippery elm is a species of elm tree that has been used medicinally in North America for hundreds of years. Native Americans discovered the abilities of slippery elm to make balms and salves to repair wounds, heal burns, and to treat other skin conditions. It was also used to soothe oral conditions such as sore throats, coughs, and to help relieve diarrhea and stomach problems. If you have a dog with an unhappy gut, slippery elm has proven to be very effective, quickly making them feel better. Slippery elm has a substance named mucilage that's a polysaccharide which becomes a gel once mixed with water. And this mucilage is derived from the internal bark of the tree and because it's slippery and slimy it's given the name slippery elm. Slippery elm bark powder has been used in certain cultures as part of their normal diets due to its nutritious content. Its rich nutrients and antioxidants promote recovery. Its antioxidants and vitamin A, B complex, C, K, minerals, calcium, magnesium and sodium help support skin health by eliminating free radicals that cause aging. The mucilage gets to work quickly soothing and coating the mouth, throat, stomach and the intestines, basically the entire digestive system while absorbing toxins, bringing much relief from health conditions such as respiratory ailments, such as kennel cough, leaky gut, constipation, gastritis, irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, acute diarrhea, colitis, vomiting, pancreatitis, stomach and intestinal inflammation and cuts, abrasions and burns by pulling out toxins, relieving itching and promoting fast healing. Use the powder form, it's more economical and easier to sprinkle on food as dogs seem to like it and it's completely safe and wonderful for cats too. If you feed 1 teaspoon for small dogs twice daily, 
Feed a quarter teaspoon for medium dogs twice daily and feed a half teaspoon for large dogs twice daily. I've left a link in the description below and at the link above to my favourite Slippery Elm remedy. It's 100% pure Slippery Elm powder at a great price. Once you have the condition under control, the next important thing to do is prevent the condition from returning by taking a good look at your dog's diet. Diet is responsible for 90% of dog health problems and when blood shows up in your dog's stools, you can be sure that the diet you are presently feeding them needs an overhaul. There is good news though, because if you feed your dog a kibble diet, there is a way to fix the problem without changing the diet. I created the Healthy Kibble Diet as part of my ebook Feed Your Dog Better to help kibble feeding dog owners reclaim their dog's health from those day to day health issues that plague so many dogs. Everything you need to boost your dog's health simply and effectively is in the ebook. So if you want to make a positive difference in your dog's life and stop health troubles from returning, I invite you to take a look at the link above. And if you found this video useful, please remember to like it, share it with friends and subscribe so you'll always be up to date on all the latest videos that I do. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye for now.